Hey guys, had a bit of a different idea for a video. I wanted to um, show off this field monitor that I use as part of my camera setup. Just a bit of a behind the scenes look at the Emlyn and the Mix YouTube channel. And the reason why I wanted to talk about it is I haven't seen this particular item, really a review on it anywhere. There probably is some nice reviews somewhere. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about this uh, now. Before I begin, I by no means am a professional video person um, so I'm really gonna only be speaking on behalf of the amateur sort of video YouTube uh, youtubers out there so it's got all its um, usual inputs here you've got HDMI input this cable I've got here the HDMI input cable that's sold separately they're not cheap actually because I had to get a mini HDMI cable on the other end there so you got USB OSD headphone and AV out and there's your HDMI there and your on and off switch for your power. All right, let's fire this thing up and um, yeah, let's have a look at it. It's the newer NW764K. The screen looks really good actually. All right, so I'm just gonna set it up on this stand here for you. So let's get that set up there. The stand obviously is sold separately as well, but it screws on um, to any universal uh, camera mount, which is really cool. One thing I forgot to mention is on the back, it just takes a single standardized video camera battery cell, which came with this particular product, which was really cool. And the other thing I forgot to show you is the speaker is actually built into the back here. Um, that just slides in. You get quite a bit of battery life out of it, actually. All right, there we go there. You can see I've got it set up. I'll just plug in the HDMI cable and I'll plug my camera into it. Now again, I'm not a professional camera guy. Um, I mean, to me, this is my most professional camera here. I did do a bit of research before purchasing this camera. This camera does the job for what I need, um, but just unfortunately didn't have the flip screen on the back. So if you're running into a similar experience that I am, then this field monitor is definitely for you. So I'll fire it up now so you can have a look at it. All right, so I've just slid my uh, battery into the back there. You can see it's fired up for us, or it's firing up. Uh, I haven't connected my camera yet, which I'm just about to do, so it's just saying no signal at the moment. All right, we're gonna plug the camera in. I probably got it on a bit of a weird angle here. I just put a cable tie here because it was um, kind of annoying me, but this is a nice long cable. I can actually put the camera a lot further away if I wanted to. And plug my camera on, I'll turn it on. You can have a look at it. It's a really nice clear picture, actually. There you go. If you can see that, hopefully you can see that. I'll check the... That's my studio in the background there. There I am. And uh, it's just perfect for doing YouTube and being able to monitor yourself. Obviously I can bring that in a bit closer so I can see where I am. Uh, but the main purpose of having a field monitor like this is just to check your frame. Uh, when you're recording yourself on YouTube, it makes it so much easier to be seeing where you are in the frame and exactly, um, yeah, where, you, where you're basically sitting. So I'd probably, you know, for example, I'd have it there. Um, I, I'd even frame it even better than that, but it's just the case of, you know, moving the camera, try and get me center, see I'm too high, something like that in the middle. And then I can start working with it, whereas before I, I was literally guessing. Um, but as far as uh, this hardware sort of, I guess, overview you could call this goes, is that I think it's a, generally it's a pretty good uh, monitor, it's, it looks really clear. You do have some options on here, I was going to show you, that's right. Um, so you got, basically you got some volume options here, I don't know what you'd need that for, you can hear yourself back. It starts feeding back, which is kind of not what I want though, so I usually just have it turned down. Um, you can switch three different, um, oh, I don't know what those are actually, I probably shouldn't talk about it. Oh, there you go, you got different modes here, um, different color modes. I did check that out before, you got red, mono, green, and blue, and then you can just turn that off. F3, and F, uh, F3 pulls up the histogram. I'm actually learning this as we go. <laughs> F4, wow, it does like a negative false colors. That looks pretty cool actually, to get some false colours there, I'm not sure what you'd need that for, I'm sure again this would be for your professional camera people. Uh, you can pull up your menu here, you got your brightness, contrast, saturation, hopefully, I don't even know if you can see that there, but anyway. Um, and yeah, your volume, you got your mode here as well, which is your different output, input AV, and you got HDMI, it's literally the two, and then you just got your on off switch here. 
And also that's pretty cool because it actually turns my camera off, which is kind of neat. Anyway, thanks so much guys. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, quick overview. And if you're considering getting one, I recommend it. Um, they're fairly cheap. Yeah, go out and get yourself one if you're thinking of getting one. Because uh, I know that there's other field monitors out there that literally started about the $500 mark. So this was the best value. Um, and newer is a good, as far as I know, seems to be a pretty good product um, in terms of camera gear to trust. Alright, thanks for joining me if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more sort of, uh, if you like audio technology actually, definitely subscribe. You will definitely not be disappointed in the hardware and software reviews that I do. And also I have a podcast, Emlyn in the Mix, would love it if you subscribe to that, have a listen to that if you like audio technology, studio technology. And I think that's pretty much it for me, so thanks for watching, peace out, boom.